Submix tracks are useful for grouping similar track types together, such as drums, backing vocals, layered instruments, and more. They make it really easy to solo, mute, or add effects to multiple tracks simultaneously, and because the individual tracks that make up a submix track can easily be hidden from view, they simplify handling large mixes in the main project window. Submix tracks can be used with MIDI or audio tracks. In this example, I'm going to place the kick drum, snare, and ride cymbal tracks into a submix track. First, I'll create a submix track by pressing the plus track button here and selecting Add Submix Track. And I'm going to move this up because I put it all the way at the bottom. To move tracks into the submix track, simply click and drag them and drop them on the submix track. You can see this little vertical line over here that indicates that it's part of the submix track. I'm going to move the snare in and the ride cymbal. Since I want the kick to be at the top, I'm going to grab this and move it and move my snare. So now I've got the kick, snare, and ride arranged how I want in the submix track, and you can see the little line here that shows that they're part of the submix track. So now I'll solo the submix track and press play, and the submix track volume acts as a master volume for all these tracks. I can mute, or solo, or I can add effects by pressing the effects button over here. This opens up the effects list window. Now I'm going to add a compressor so we can compress all three drum tracks at once. So now I've got a compressor across all the drums, and I can also add an EQ. So now let's get out of here by pressing these X buttons. And I'm going to unsolo it. And again, we can adjust the volume of the entire drum mix with this master volume right here in the submix. Earlier I mentioned that using submix tracks can simplify handling large mixes because you can hide individual elements. And you can do that with this little control right here. It's a little minus, and you can see it says hide children tracks. And if I press that, you don't see them anymore. So, for example, you have 20 background vocals layered together, and you want to hide them so they don't take up the entire screen. Submix tracks can be really useful for that. To view the individual tracks of a submix track, just press the plus button again. And if you'd like to remove tracks from the submix track, simply click and drag them out. You can make as many individual submix tracks as you like, and you can rename them like any other track. Also remember that submix tracks show up in Mixcraft's mixer just like regular tracks. Here's our submix track here, and if I open the mixer tab, here's our submix track right here.